people, welcome back to yet another video with more phenomenal quality job leads. Today, we're going to get into more opportunities through Warner Brothers. These are going to be phenomenal for all my creatives and designers and people who are definitely in that creative space. I also do have some other opportunities that are not in that space, and we will be going over entry level opportunities as well. So definitely stay tuned to see each and every position that we are going to go through, see what leads better, align with what your needs are and where you want to go in your career. And then as always, make sure you go and you apply yourself. So the very first role we're going to get into is the CH Tech Tier 3 role with Warner Brothers. It is a completely remote role. Here is the actual job ID. Now getting down more into what you'll be doing on your day to day, you'll be serving as the final escalation point for support tickets that are escalated through tier one and tier two. You'll maintain subject matter expert status on Max Discovery Plus and other Warner Brother Discovery products and services. So for like their streaming services, people might call in and have issues with their online account or want to change or want to cancel, or it may be something higher in escalation that you may have to deal with. That's the basis of this role. You'll identify and deliver creative troubleshooting workarounds and support recommendations for issues that cannot be resolved through existing knowledge base articles. You'll be responsible for escalating business side issues to the appropriate extended teams for resolution as well. You'll also be working with executives, leads, and VIP customers. So this is really a great support role for anyone who is looking to collaborate with people and to be at a higher tier level. This will be a phenomenal role for you. Now the requirements that they have for this role is being able to accommodate an evening schedule. So for all of my late bloomers who like to get up later, who are not morning people, this might be a great role for you. They do have the hours from 2 p.m. to 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And this will be a Thursday through Monday schedule. So you'll be off Tuesday and Wednesday. It's a completely different schedule than the normal nine to five Monday through Friday. So keep that in mind when reviewing this specific position and lead. They're asking that you have two years of customer service experience, highly preferred in a business to consumer brand, preferably in media, entertainment, technology, or hospitality, and supporting stream and media or equivalent technologies. Now for remote applicants, they're asking for one plus years of experience, preferred working in a remote environment. So if you work in a remote environment and you've done that for years, that's great. And it's a plus, but it's not a need. You don't need it to get the actual role. They also want to make sure that you are familiar with with different streaming devices such as Apple TV, Roku, Fire Sticks, those kinds of things. You're great with problem solving and troubleshooting. You're a great listener. You also do communicate really well verbally and written, and you can excel at both customer service and technical support. So if this is something you are interested in, definitely head on over and apply for this support role with Warner Brothers. It is the CX Tech, the T tier three, definitely hop on this as soon as possible. Getting into the very next role that I have with Warner Brothers, this one is the environmental artist role, fully remote as you can see. And they are hiring in multiple locations for this specific role. Now within this role, this is definitely more for creative artists. This one, you'll be creating high quality 3D environmental assets, including props, structures, and more to match the game's aesthetic. You'll be ensuring the assets meet technical and performance requirements while maintaining visual excellence. You'll work closely with vision holders to understand and execute the artistic vision for the game. You'll execute on predefined or self-started initiatives. You'll also actively share knowledge within the area of your expertise. Now, what they're looking for from you is that you do have a minimum of three years of experience as an environmental artist in game development. You must have a portfolio that shows not only artistic skills, but also the ability to follow technical guidelines like proper UV, texture, and a slew of other 2 and 3D experiences. If you have experience implementing assets and game engines, that's also great. Show 
strong understanding of composition, materials, color, and lighting, and you must have a portfolio link on your resume. So if you are interested in this specific role, get over and apply. Once again, this is the environmental artist remote role with Warner Brothers. Now getting into my next opportunity, this is with a company called Sedgwick. They are a major insurance company handling a lot of things from workers comp to general liability and a slew of different insurance lines of business. Now getting into the role that I do have with them, this one is their workers compensation claims associate remote role. It is a full-time position. Here is the actual job ID. Getting more into the details of what you'll be doing on a day-to-day. You'll be adjusting medical only claims and minor lost time workers compensation claims under close supervision. You'll also support other claim representatives and your peers with examining larger or more complex claims as necessary. You'll communicate claim action processing with claimants, clients, and appropriate medical contact as well as attorneys and different legal entities. And you'll also be processing routine payments and prescriptions based on the lifetime of the medical claim. Now what they're asking for from you educational wise is that you just have a high school diploma or a GED. Licenses may be a requirement as well if you do have licenses. If not, a lot of the insurance companies do take you through the training to get licensed. You will need one year of general office experience or equivalent combination of education and or experience is required. If you do have prior claims industry experience, that is a plus, but it is not needed. You're also going to need to be able to have excellent communication skills, both written and oral. Be really well with a PC, be able to maneuver in a computer really well and understand Microsoft Office products. Be very analytical, very attention to detail, have strong organizational skills, be a personable person because you will have to deal with your peers and different people on a daily basis. Be able to work in a team environment and meet and exceed professional and performance competencies. So this is a great role for someone looking for something entry level. Once again, this is a workers' compensation claims associate role with Sedgwick. If you're interested in this role, get over and apply. Now, the very next role that I have for you guys is through a health insurance company called Humana. They're really big in the industry in health insurance and providing health insurance benefits. Getting into the role that I do have with them, it is the administrative assistant number two role. This role is fully remote and you can reside in any of these specific states. This is the actual job ID, and as you can see, it is a full-time position. Now, getting down into the roles and responsibilities of what you will be doing on a day-to-day, you'll be formatting, transcribing, and proofreading a variety of material that can include correspondence, invoicing, contracts, meeting minutes, reports, and a slew of other things. You'll also be coordinating internal and external meetings Through scheduling, you'll also be making travel arrangements for attendees. You'll also be providing and making sure that various meeting amenities are available. You'll manage appointments. You'll also be reviewing and managing different office equipment like photocopiers, faxes, and printers. You might have to call and get them serviced, those kinds of things. Now, what they're looking for from you is that you are proficient in Microsoft Office Word and PowerPoint. You're able to manage multiple priorities at a time that you do pay attention to detail. You can also keep confidentiality really well, that you are organized, and that you can balance multiple initiatives and prioritize your workload. Now, preferred is always a plus if you do have it. If you have an associate's degree or bachelor's degree, that is a plus. If you're proficient in Microsoft Excel and Access, that's a plus. If you have previous administrative or related experience, and also experience with internet research and proofreading, those are all great great pluses to have. Now, this role, as you can see, this is a remote role nationwide position. So literally, you can be sitting anywhere in the United States and apply for this role. It's a great entry-level position into a really premier company that has a really, really great reputation. Now, this is a full-time 40-hour-a-week schedule. The salary range for this position is $43,000 up to $59,000 annually. You'll also be eligible for their benefits like the medical, the dental, the vision of 401k retirement saving, your time off benefits, your life insurance, and short-term and long-term disability benefits. This is a really great entry-level role. So if you're interested, always remember this specific one is the administrative assistant number two role with Humana. Now, 
Now, if none of these roles align with you and what you're looking for currently in your job search journey, definitely make sure you check out my previous videos from this week to see if any of those roles better align with you and what you're currently looking for. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you become a part of the family by subscribing to the channel, turning that bell notification on and clicking all so you can be notified each and every time I drop new videos with brand new roles and you don't miss out on anything. If you are entry level, I have a free resource down in the description box specifically for you guys, which is my job title list. It's a job title list to look for on your job search journey that will help you identify jobs that are specifically targeted for entry level workers to help you stop all the guessing to try to figure out if a job is really uniquely for you being new and being a beginner into the work field and or switching into something new. It helps you hone in on those jobs that are specifically targeted towards entry level workers and it helps you stop wasting so much time looking at job descriptions that are over qualifying. We want to make sure that you're not wasting time looking at jobs that you may not qualify for, but you can definitely hone in on specific jobs and apply for more jobs by using that guide and being able to target and look at specifically the jobs that are targeted towards entry level workers. Until next time, make sure you continue to thrive and you continue to reach for your career goals. I will see you guys in the very next one. Bye.